record on this. All right, here we go. So lesson 3.5, equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Our objective, I will be able to identify parallel and perpendicular lines and write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay. So we have two theorems, okay? And these two theorems tell us exactly what we need to know about the slopes of parallel lines and the slopes of perpendicular lines, okay? Now, the slopes of parallel lines are probably the easiest ones because the slopes of parallel lines are identical, okay? In a coordinate plane, two non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Okay, if and only if they have the same slope. So that means that if these two lines are parallel to each other, which it's showing that they are, then the slope of this line is the same thing as the slope of this line. Okay, remember, slope is the slant, right? It's the steepness. So both of these have the same steepness. Now, if I, let's say this line was called um, line P, right? And this line was called line T. So then we can write, <coughs> since line P is parallel to line T, that means the slopes are equal, right? So that means the slope, right? Remember we said that the slope is denoted by M? So I can show that the slope of line P, and I can do M subscript P. So notice it's like a, it looks kind of like an exponent, but on the bottom, right? So this, when I read this, this is the slope of line P. That's what it essentially comes out to slope of line P, okay, would be equal to the slope of line T. Okay, so the slope of line P would be equal to the slope of line T. Why did I have to pick letters that sound the same? <laughs> P and T. <laughs> okay. So that's the slope of parallel lines. They're the same. So if the slope of this line was like negative two, then the slope of this line would also be negative two. Okay, it's that simple. Now the slope of perpendicular lines are also simple, but there's a small rule to them, okay? So the slope of perpendicular lines, it says in a coordinate plane, two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes is equal to negative one, okay? The product of their slopes is equal to negative one. So that means if I multiply the two slopes, it should equal negative one, okay? So There's another way of saying this as well, and you might remember it from, from algebra. Does anyone remember another way of saying the relationship between perpendicular slopes? I'm gonna see if, if, if you guys remember by any chance, any brainiacs out there that could remember that far back. Think of Ms. Hutchison's voice telling you the relationship between the slopes of perpendicular lines. Hmm. They are the same? They are not the same. That's parallel lines. That's parallel lines. What about perpendicular? They intersect. That is very true. The lines do intersect. But what does that mean about their slopes? 
are negative one. Gabriel, say that lo louder. Their, their slopes are negative one. Their slopes are negative one. The product of their slopes are negative one. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna go on the thing verge and say maybe you're you're not you don't remember, which is okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not hurt at all. Not crying here. <laughs> all right. Um, their product of the slopes is negative one. So what does that mean? Okay. So let's say I have this line right here, right? Let's say this is line P. Again, I'm going with P, but this time I'll pick another line. Instead of T, let's do V. Yeah, V. P and V. God, they, those also sound the same. Um, what this means, the product of their slopes is negative one. It means that if I took the slope of line P and I multiplied it to the slope, oops. Hey guys, I forgot how to write M. If I multiplied it to the slope of line V, that would equal negative one, okay? That's what that statement means. The product of the slopes is equal to negative one. So the slope of, of line P, right, and line V. And how do I know here that these two lines that are intersecting are perpendicular? What tells me that they're perpendicular from the image? Any takers? Now this is a geometry question. By looking at this image right here, what tells me that these, these two lines are perpendicular? The vertical lines have those little arrows and the, the perpendicular do not, I mean the parallel have the little arrows on them and then the perpendicular. Okay, so the parallel have arrows to tell me they're parallel, right? But that's not, so the fact that they don't have those little arrows is not what tells me that these are perpendicular. Oh, okay. There's a symbol on here that's telling me that they are perpendicular. The 90 degree angle? Yep. Because when perpendicular lines create 90 degree angles, right? Let's clarify that again. Perpendicular lines create right angles. Never forget that. Okay, perpendicular lines create right angles. That's what makes lines perpendicular. The fact that they create right angles, okay? Now, the other way to describe the slope of perpendicular lines is they are opposite reciprocals of each other. They are opposite reciprocals of each other. Let's dissect that real quick. What does it mean in math? In math, what does it mean if two numbers are opposites of each other? In math, what does it mean if two numbers are opposites of each other? What's the opposite of the number two? Negative two. Negative two. What's the opposite of negative five? Five. Five. So what can be said if, 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 it, it, what are the, what's the opposite, what does opposite mean then? If negative two is the opposite of two and five is the opposite of negative five, what's the difference between those opposites? The uh, negative and positive symbol. Yes. So when we say they're opposite reciprocals, we're talking about positivity and negativity. So if one of these slopes is positive, the other is negative. That's the opposite part here. Okay. If one of them is positive, the other is negative. That's why when you take, take this and times this, you get negative, right? Because it's positive times negative. 
Okay. Now, what does reciprocal mean? What does the word reciprocal mean? It flips. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. It flips. Reciprocal means the flip of it. So if I have the number two, what's the reciprocal of two? One over two. One over two. Okay. What if I had this? What if I had one over three? What's the reciprocal of one over three? Three over one. Three over one, right? Which equals just three. So perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals of each other. Meaning if one of them is, a, whatever number one of them is, right? The other one is the opposite sign and the flip of it. The opposite sign and the flip of it. So for example here, okay, if I have a slope, Right, let's say the slope of uh, P was negative one half, right? If the slope of, oh, that doesn't match. Um, it doesn't matter, whatever. If the slope of P is negative one half, then the slope of V would be the opposite of this, aka, so if this is negative, then this is positive, okay? And then one over two, Flip that, two over one, which equals just a positive two. So if one of the slopes is negative one half, the other one is a positive two. How did I get that? Negatives, if we start with the negative, it turns to a positive for the other one. And then this is one over two, so I flip it, it becomes two over one. If I start off with a whole number, I just put it over one and I flip that, right? Okay. So we're gonna remember these. It's muy importante, okay? Let's do an example. So we're gonna do some examples where it says, determine which of the lines are parallel and which are perpendicular. So I have one, two, three, four lines here that I want to find the slope of because I can use the slope to determine if they're parallel and or perpendicular, right? Because if I find their slopes and I see that they're the same, then I know that they're parallel. If I see that they're opposite reciprocals of each other, then I know that they are perpendicular. If it's neither, then I know that it's neither, like they're, they're not par parallel or perpendicular, which would mean that they are skew, okay? So let's take a look here. Um, I have some, I have line A, line B, Line C, I'm just tracing it on my paper. And then this is line D, okay? And we're given some points on each of the lines so that we can use those points to figure out our slopes, okay? Now, we can do this two ways. We can do this by counting rise over run, right? Remember rise over run for slope? Over run, okay? Rise is the change in our y's. So how much did our y's change? So algebraically, we wanna know the difference in our y's, y2 minus y1, over the change in our x's, x2 minus x1. This should sound really familiar to you. Like really, really, really familiar to you. Okay. So we can do this algebraically with our points or we can count. And I think I'm gonna do two lines by counting and two lines algebraically, okay? So if I count, I'm gonna start with line A here, okay? On line A, I have two points. I have negative three, two right over here. I'm gonna zoom in here, okay? Let me, there we go, okay. So line A, that's this line right here, okay? I'm given negative three, two, this point that A goes through, and then I'm given this point right here of zero and three that A goes through. So then I'm just gonna count. First, I wanna do my rise, okay? So my slope for line A, 
Okay, that's how I'm indicating it. Notice again, it's, it's a subscript, guys. It's not next to it. It's not above it, right? It's a subscript. It's at the bottom corner of M, okay? And it's a slightly smaller than M, right? Okay, so my rise. Uh, doesn't matter what point, what, where, what point I start from. So if I start here, right, then that means I'm going to go, to get to the level of this point, I'm going to go up one. Okay, that means my rise is a positive one. So my fraction here, I'll break it down. Rise over run. My rise was the change in the Y. So it was one. I had I just went up one. Okay. Usually you want to move from left to right because that'll help you keep your signs the same. So left to right. Okay. So up one. And then over here for my run, I have one, two, three. And I'm over to my point. So my run is going to be three. Okay. So my slope for, for line A is one third. That's my slope. Okay. So I'm going to write that here so I don't get confused. There we go. Okay. Next, I'm going to, I'm going to find the slope for line B. Now line A and B look like they could be parallel, right? So I'm going to see if they are, if their slopes match, okay? So line B here, I see that they gave me this point that line B is going through, and they gave me this point here. So that's 0, negative 1, and 2, comma, 0, okay? Hold on. Someone's joining us. Oh, camera. Okay. All right. So again, I'm going to do my rise over run. So slope of point B. I'm sorry, slope of point, line B. Again, rise, the y's over run, the x's, because you rise up and down and you run right and left, okay? So again, I'm going to start on my left point and I'm going to get to my right point. So starting here to go to rise, um, I actually have to go up only one, okay? So that's going to be a one again on the top for the rise. And then I have one, two. Okay, so my slope for line B is actually one half, not the same as one third. Okay, I'm just simplifying writing the final answer there on the side. Okay. Now, I told you I'm going to do two lines by counting and then two lines with our formula, right? Okay, just so that we can break it down a little bit um, or, you know, give it some variety. All right, now I want to find a uh, slope of line C here. Okay, slope of line C here. Okay, now to find the slope of C, again, I'm doing rise over run. But in this case, I'm going to be using my formula, the difference in my y's and the difference in my x's. So I'm going to be doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Same exact thing, except I'm doing it algebraically instead of visually. Okay. Now, where does the y2, y1, x2, x1 come from? It comes from the points on my line. So if I look at my points on my line here, um, I see that I have a negative 1, negative five here, and I see that I have a one and negative four here. So that point and that point, okay? And each of these points gets labeled. So I can pick the first point here as my x1. That means my y here is my y1. And the second point can be x2, y2. It doesn't matter which point I go with. It doesn't matter. As long as the X1 and Y1 are at the same point and the X2 and Y2 are at the same point. So then I'm going to plug these in to my um, slope formula here. Okay. So Y2 is negative 4. The minus from the formula, Y1 is negative 5. So that's going to be minus a negative 5 over 
Now my x's. x2, that's 1, minus from the formula, and then x1 is a negative 1, so minus a negative 1. Okay. I'm going to simplify to the side here. So what happens when I minus a negative? We should all know that this becomes positive. Same here and same here, right? Because I had minus negatives. So this becomes negative 4 plus 5, which is 1, over 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the slope for line C is 1 half. Okay. Now, could I have counted this? Sure. If I started at this point and I went up, that's a one. That's my rise. And then I went to the right to get to my other point, one, two. That would be my run, one over two. Okay. Sometimes it's not as easy to count. That's why it's important that you know this method as well. Lastly, we're not done. All we've done is A, B, and C so far. We also need to find the slope for line D. I'm also going to be doing the point slope formula here so you can see it one more time, okay? Um, so line D here, okay? So line D, um, so I'm gonna find the slope of D, okay? And again, we have Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And I'm gonna, well, let's see what points are on line D. So I have this point that it intersected with for line A. So that's gonna be negative three and two. Okay. And then I have this point right here, <coughs> excuse me, this point right here at negative two and zero. Okay, oh, there you go. So again, one of these is going to be my x1, y1. The other one will be my x2, y2. So x1, y1, x2, y2. Again, it really doesn't matter which one you pick for which, okay? And we plug in. y2 is 0. Bring down the minus from the formula. y1 is 2. So right there. Okay, why didn't I have minus a negative here? Because this two wasn't negative. This minus is from the formula. The two is positive here, so it's just minus two. Over x2 now, that's negative. x2 is negative, so minus a negative, so that's a negative two. I'm gonna bring down the negative from the formula, okay, or the minus, I should say. And then my, my x1 is a negative three, so this becomes minus a negative three, okay? I'm gonna ask that you guys simplify this. You guys simplify this. I'm gonna give you one minute to simplify this. It should not take you longer than one minute to simplify that. All right, um, anyone have my slope for me? Negative oh, two over negative five? Negative two over negative five. Okay, so let's see, hold on. 
Sorry, guys. I had to log into my meeting, so let me just lower their volume real quick. Okay. Um, negative two over negative five. Let's see. Um, I have some people saying negative two. Okay. Uh, I have another confirmation for. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So zero minus two is definitely negative two, right? Most definitely negative two there. But what happens here? Minus a negative, what happens? Positive, it turns into positive. A positive. So both of these turn to positive. The minus and the negative in front of the three, right? So this now becomes negative two plus three, which is? a positive one. And negative two divided by one is negative two. So the slope for line D is negative two, right? Okay, we've done all this work and we haven't answered the question yet because the question is, is to determine which lines are parallel and which are perpendicular. Okay, so remember, the parallel lines have the same slope. So do we have any lines that have the same slope? Any lines that have the same slope? Yes, no, maybe so? Lines uh, MB and MC had the same slope of one over two. Okay. Thank you, but I'm going to correct your, your language there, okay? The line is not MB. The line is line B. MB is the slope of line B. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so line B and line C have the same slope of one half, right? Or one over two, yes. Which means that line... B is parallel to line C because they have the same slope, okay? Does any other, do any of the other lines? Is line A, line A is one third, line D is negative two for the slope, so no, okay? So line B and line C are parallel because they have the same slope, right? And we all remember that this symbol right here means that they're parallel. Parallel, I can't, I can't speak. The next question I have is, are there any slopes that are opposite reciprocals of each other? Are there any slopes that are opposite reciprocals of each other? Meaning opposite signs and the flips of each other. No. You sure? Oh, never mind. Uh, line B and C have um, recipro are reciprocal with line D. Mm. Actually, if we look at it right here, that's even better, right? Yes. Aren't, aren't these flips of each other? Yes. That guy and that guy, right? These guys are flips of each other, even more so, right? They're not just flips because only being flips is not enough. They're opposite signs. This is a positive, this is a negative, right? So line D is actually perpendicular to two lines here because it's an opposite reciprocal to two lines, line C and line B, who coincidentally are parallel to each other, right? So if a line is perpendicular to one line, it's also perpendicular to all of the lines that are parallel to that line, okay? So if you guys remember how to write the perpendicular symbol, line D is perpendicular to line B as well as, so we have opposite reciprocal slopes. Right, they're flips of each other and opposite signs. As well as line D is perpendicular to line 
C because the same thing is happening here. Okay, so these are the answers to the question. How did we get them? We found the slopes and then we compared the slopes. Okay, I went really slow there because I wanted to show you guys the algebra. Do I require that you see the algebra or that you use the algebra? Not necessarily. If you can count and you wanna count, by all means, count. Okay, so let's take a look at the we do. We're gonna speed things up here. Um, again, where we wanna find the slopes, right? I'm gonna go faster, guys. Because I need you guys to, to work with me here, okay? Um, okay, line A here. Here's my point. Here's my point. Okay, I want the slope of line A. That's rise over run. So left to right, one, I'm sorry, rising first. One, two, three, four. Four up. Over. One, two, two over. Okay, so four divided by two is two. So the slope of line A is two. Okay, slope of line B here. Again, I have a point here and a point here. So rise one, two, three, four. That's again, four up, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, four up. And then one, two, two to over. Again, that simplifies to two. So four divided by two. Okay. I should already see some pattern happening there. Okay, next line C. So the slope of line C here. I want to find the slope of line C. Here are my points. One, two. One, two, three up over, one over, three divided by one is three. Now the question is, is line D perpendicular to any one of these? Because that's the one that's like going in the way opposite direction, right? That's the one that's way going in the opposite direction. So now I wanna find the slope of line D, okay? And line D, here are my two points, this guy and this guy. So left to right, um, my rise here is down one. So that's gonna be a negative one because I went down, right? And then one, two, three, three to the right means it's positive. So I have negative one third for my slope for D. Now that was the, the me part. We found the slopes here, okay? Here's the you part. Identify my lines that are parallel and perpendicular. Which lines are parallel and perpendicular here, okay? We have line A, line B, line C, and line D. I'm going to give you one minute to identify which lines are parallel and perpendicular and to respond to me privately in the chat. Okay, respond to me privately in the chat. Okay. Please tell me if what you're, the pair that you're giving me is parallel or perpendicular. So if you're going to give me two lines, tell me if they're parallel or perpendicular. So far, I only have a response from Gabriel and half a response from Andres Moreno. I am surprised to hear that. Okay, you guys, you have to tell me which lines and if they're parallel or perpendicular, which lines?
just like we did up here, right? I didn't just say there's parallel lines and there's perpendicular lines. I said that which ones are parallel and I said which ones are perpendicular. Okay, good. Guys, the name of the line is not MA and MB. The name of the line is A or B. M stands for the slope. Fifth time I've said that today. Okay. Ah, thank you, Jayla, finally. Thank you, Maya, finally. Good, Andres Leon. Jasmine, good. All right. So I have a few answers that people were rocking, okay? I heard that line A and line B are parallel. Line A and line B are parallel. Why? Because their slopes are the same, okay? So I say line A is parallel to line B, okay? I also saw many people telling me that line C and line D were perpendicular because they are opposite reciprocals. This is a positive three. This is a negative, which is opposite a positive. One third, which is the reciprocal of a whole three. Because if you put three over one and flip it, you get one over three. So line C is perpendicular to line D, okay? All right, for the sake of time, we're not gonna do the you do. I think we're okay here. If you have questions, make sure that you get them clarified. Again, I have tutoring Thursday from 2.15 to 3.15, okay? Now, in the back, this is the second part of our objective, which is we are able to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines, okay? Now that we're gonna be looking at and using two forms of the equation of a line. The first one we already saw once today, okay? Y equals MX plus B, okay? And we said, actually heaven said, that our M is our slope, okay? And our B is our Y-intercept. Okay? We also have our slope point or point slope form, okay? And our point slope form does not have B with it. Instead, it uses a point, okay? It uses a point. And when we simplify it, we end up back at our slope intercept form. So our slope point form, okay? We need our slope and we need a point. And it looks like this. We have Y, oops, don't copy that yet y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, just like this. Where x1 and y1 are a point, they're not yeah. variables. They are a point on the line. That's your x1 and your y1. They are numbers, they're not variables. Exactly. So when we plug into here, 
we plug into this guy and this guy. That's where these come in, our points. But this Y and this X do not get plugged into. Okay, this Y and this X do not get plugged into. Oh, we usually also plug into our slope. Apologize. Okay, this Y that doesn't have a subscript and this X that doesn't have a subscript, they do not get plugged into. So when we simplify this, we end up back looking like this at the slope intercept form, okay? Now, we are going to be using the point slope form to write equations of lines, okay? So you wanna pay attention to whether or not, you're, so whether you're writing a line of a parallel line, or I'm sorry, the equation of a parallel line or the equation of a perpendicular line, okay? Because our theorem from the front is gonna let us know if our slopes will be the same or different, okay? So for example, let's take a look at the I do. It says write an equation of the line passing through the point negative one comma one that is parallel to the line y equals two x minus three. So parallel, that's our go-to here, okay? Now, our parallel lines do they have the same slope or do they have different slopes? Are the slopes the same or are they opposite reciprocals? Okay, um, let's take a, a quick vote in the participants window. Okay, parallel lines. Give me a yes for same slope. Give me a no. I think she left. Oh, is she there? Hmm. Hang in there, guys. I just sent her a text and we'll see what's going on. Guys, can anyone hear Miss uh, Miss Carpechin? No. 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 